Hey artists, Wally here. So I'm just uh, out in the mountains, up in the mountains fishing. Uh, this is uh, pretty close to Isfjorden, um, where I have my cabin down, like over that mountain behind there. <laughs> so this is uh, a nice trek up here. And I thought that this um, video, I would take this um, scene here and uh, do a really nice um, study out of that. I thought this was really beautiful here. So. After I've done some fishing, I'm gonna take a couple of photo uh, shots here, and uh, then I'll I'll see you guys again in uh, inside of the Photoshop, and we'll do some uh, some painting. So I'll see you then. Okay, I'm a cowboy now, so let's start painting. Let's see, so I have my photo here. This is up in um, uh, Glötervatnet. I think it's called Glutervatnet. It's right up here where I uh, was fishing. I caught a trout. Yes. So, um, first of all, I think this is a little bit too uh, tall. So let's um, shorten it down a little bit. Let's try to find a good, good composition there to study. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So we can take this uh, down to its own thing. And uh, let's see how big we want this. And let's do 3,000 maybe by 2,000. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty decent. I think maybe the fan will go pretty loud. Hopefully not. Alright, so first of all I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna try to not color pick uh, and just try to do it, you know, by eye. So, let's take it down a bit here, control or command L and then take it down. And take, just take some of these brushes here and let's start with the sky. So it's a bit of a blue, bright, trying to eye it a bit here. So I'm just going to put in everything here first. And the mountain comes something like that. I'm not spending too much time thinking about this, I'm just putting down some shapes. Seeing some, some yellow here. Something like that. And filling it in. You can always go in here later and just adjust. Let's add some darker, bit more yellow. Change the brush a bit. Use this one. Just to get some more texture going here, sample from from the painting itself. We have some colors now, and I'm gonna use some lasso to just block out some of these shapes here. So this is the lake. Something like that. And it's pretty dark, dark blue. Something like this. Change the brush. And uh, this bit of a gray, gray blue here. 
in the lighter so you're off. Now we don't need to do this perfectly, I'm just, you know, kind of eye it a bit. It's gonna look better and better the more we work on this. I'm thinking in terms of layers, in terms of how how the, uh, the landscape itself is, is layered. So this is kind of the same color as this, but a bit darker, a bit more gray, maybe a bit more cyan there. Something like that. Let's change something to more, something like this, like chocolate brush, where we can have a bit more control over what we're doing. It's a bit darker still, maybe even more blue here. Some areas. I'm not supposed to be pedantic here, just get the, get, get the stuff down. Let me sample a bit from the sky, because the sky will be lighting up some of this rock here. And follow the form when you're doing this light here, you know? Just uh, something like that. Let's put them out. Alright. And uh, let's see, so in the background here we have a little bit of the same, just a bit more of this blue, because that's what happens with mountains as they recede into the distance. Down. Um, Sprinting a bit, I think it's a bit more blue, less cyan. Something like that, maybe. A bit darker. Let's take the lasso. I love the lasso. We're not trying to be perfect here, we're just trying to understand the main essence of this. Uh, Thing here. What we're seeing in front of us. Um, so I'm gonna take the sky color here for the snow and make it a bit more blue there. It's kind of that. It's very close. A little bit brighter yet. A bit. Just getting some texture down. This will look better in a bit. Let's see, so up here, I have some more. Take some really bright here. The yellow, I think. The reddish. Yeah, I think that helps. And there's a cloud. Just use a soft or just a chalk. And this cloud is kind of going into. It's a bit too yellow. This me. And we're gonna we're gonna have to smooth this out later because this will be. I don't want the edges to be too too harsh here. Let's get the main down there. A bit. I think I'm seeing a bit of uh, brown even up there. Brighter again. Mm -hmm. 
God. This color is a bit off. Okay, so let's see what where we have this now. Um, would uh, maybe add. Uh, 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 uh. Let's fix up the, the rest of the mountain here. And I think, I think let's make it more homogeneous because we don't want to have too much, too many complex uh, differences everywhere here. Like you see, there's a lot of stuff happening here and here too. But if you squint your eyes and sort of blur your vision, you'll notice that there's not too much stuff going on. So I can see that it's a bit more like that, a bit darker, yeah, and then kind of like this, I'm seeing these sort of striations. Maybe let's do something else, and uh, maybe this one. Oh, it kind of worked, it pretty good. And then do this. We don't want to go too dark here because then it comes too too much forward. Well, let's just get this in here. Okay. And then we have, oh wait, this is feathered. Feathering basically just does, it makes it, um, makes the edges soft and we don't want that. Um, let's see, so I'm making this paint regularly here. So I have this similar thing there. It's kind of going up like that. It's a pretty cool brush. I like this one. It's a bit hard to manage though. This is a bit too dark. No, too bright. I mean. Maybe. The key here is that we need um, real clarity with our shapes. Otherwise, it kind of loses what the hell we're doing, you know? Excuse my French. I'm a cowboy now, so I'm, a, I'm allowed to do that. I swear a bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's um, let's make the sky a bit brighter. I think it needs a little bit more of that. Yeah, I think that's better. And then let's take some of this cloud stuff. Let's try some mixer brush. I'm gonna press M and I'm gonna pick yeah, let's do this one. See if this works. And then I'm gonna sample from here. Just to smoothen out some of this. Mm, that wasn't so good. Maybe this one. Doesn't need to look exactly the same. Okay, and then there's some glacial stuff here. Some snow. Mm, kind of same as this. A bit brighter, actually. Yeah, kind of like that. A bit too bright. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty okay. Yeah. And then there's uh, a 
there's this line. You can kind of add that line here. It doesn't it's not so strong in the actual photo, but it helps with the horizon. Just to do that. Now there's this thing here on the reflections. Let's use some pixel brush. So you see when you're studying this kind of stuff, you're really starting to learn how to how to do this later in your own paintings, you know, like when you want to make uh, some some of its own like um, reflections and stuff. Seeing that this is a bit darker actually. I think my screen is a bit low. Yeah, it's actually cool. I'm looking at a bright backdropping. It was really beautiful out here. If you didn't see my previous video, where I painted like in ten minutes, luckily I don't have that now. <laughs> I'm just gonna smooth it out a bit like this. It's pretty okay. Um. Let's add some more texture here to the, the mountains. Some of this snow. in the background here as well. Some of the same snow color. You better that cloud there. Get a bit brighter behind here, so it separates a bit better. I'm pressing W and I get this magic wand. You can actually go through different parts of your painting and just make it more yellow or like paint over it. So for example I'm seeing that there's a bit more red. That would be pretty cool. Capture that a bit more. And let's use some kind of random brush where it's just a bit crazy whatever, you know, stuff like this. Switch it up a bit. Darker, a bit better.
So I really want to go here and, and, and color pick, but I'm gonna stop myself before I do that. Just to practice this. Some of these spots. Cracks and stuff. I wanna add those in. And they're pretty dark, so maybe I can use something like this. Yeah, looking pretty okay. Maybe a bit more of this stuff here. Wanna emphasize that a bit more. So here there's a bit more of that brighter orange thing. And then up here it's slightly more of the snow. Here it kind of goes into itself. The mountain is shrouded in the, in the um, uh, Cloud, that's the, that's the word I'm looking for. There's a shape going here, it's kind of like... This... I'm just adding some more texture. I can use from the same image even. And try to use bold strokes. Like there's no... Um, your painting will look better if you are actually more bold with your strokes. Instead of um, kind of timid. See, so it kind of like really make making making your your brushwork really show. Don't be afraid. Okay, I don't like this so much. Fix that a bit. And you see, it's not perfect. It's not the same as you know the um, the photo itself. But that's okay. You know, we're, we're not really trying to. Do a picture perfect thing here. Like what I'm learning now, you know, I could take this with me into my other paintings. Switch screen here. Pretty cool. Maybe some. Uh, green here see how that looks yeah i like that let's try some burn oh no that is not help i don't have my coolers plugin that you see me using in the other videos Let's 
to use normal again. So I'm doing that by pressing shift and right click, and then I can get this, uh, this menu up there. And that changes the brush mode that I have here. A bit of that rocks, rocky stuff. So when you're doing studies, you you don't want to use too tricky subjects. But this could be a bit tricky to some people with this whole. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and. Uh, you know, there's, there's easier things to work on to make your art better. Of course, you can use your own like brushworks to well, make it make it more artistic if you want. Now I have so many. Uh, colors that I can just go in here and start just mixing in between everything. Just a bit more bright stuff here. Adding a bit more rocks here. And yeah. Kind of closing up on the end here. I have another video called How to Make a Study. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do this quick study for, for you guys to see again how, how I would uh, work on something like this. We're just trying to understand a scene and how to sort of paint it. You know, something like that. I think a bit more snow. It was really cold 
going up there. It's kind of sketchy, really steep. Yeah, coming it up. It's pretty cool. Maybe a bit darker overall. Do a multiply. Here, should be there. Cool. All right. So that's that's the one there. Let's see if I can put it full screen. So you guys can see. It's pretty pretty cool image. Um, I mean, I'm trying to just figure out the textures that's used in this piece. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. So. If there's any questions you have, please let me know. And uh, yeah, I'm just super, you know, chilled out in the mountains here for now. I have a lot of work to do with um, with Evident, but it's great to to be here. And I hope um, I could show you some some cool stuff with with this. So let me know if there's anything you're wondering, and if you have any suggestions on what I can do more, then please let me know. So until next time, take it easy, guys.